Amigos, my brothers in black and white, look at me! Penguins. Surely most people automatically associate that term with flightless, upright waddling and most importantly black and white birds. We all know them from hundreds of movies, cartoons and documentaries. And while it is safe to assume that the penguin's preference for fish's food is common knowledge, it is also surprising that many have at least a vague idea about what the penguin's black and white attire is good for. Blending in and camouflage. Really though? This is Things You Thought You Knew About Penguins. Episode 1. Why are penguins black and white? Many, many sources ranging from the popular to the scientific spectrum state that the penguin's black back makes the bird more difficult to spot while at sea. When seen from above, they disappear in front of the dark blue of the ocean, while their white bellies help them to blend in when seen against the bright sky from below. According to this idea, the black and white plumage helps penguins to be invisible to both predators and prey alike. But is that really so? To answer this question, let's go back to where this idea comes from. This gentleman is Abbott Henderson Thayer, a prominent painter in the United States of the late 19th and early 20th century. He also had a knack for natural history. He was particularly fascinated by animal coloration. He described a phenomenon known today as countershading, which is pretty widespread throughout the animal kingdom. In a paper published in 1896 in the ornithological journal The Auk, he pointed out that many animals are, quote, painted by nature darkest on those parts which tend to be most lighted by the sky's light, and vice versa, end quote. But it wasn't Thayer who first mentioned countershading in the context of penguins. In 1892, four years before Thayer's paper came out, a book titled Animal Coloration was published by Frank Evers Bedard, an English zoologist and, weirdly enough, earthworm expert. In it he discusses countershading in animals. Quote, the white underside of aquatic birds such as the penguins are stated to be inconspicuous when seen from below and against the bright sky. Quote end. Even though Bedard makes it sound as if it's not his own idea, it seems his is the first written account of what may be the purpose of countershading in penguins. And at a first glance it seems logical, right? That is, until you really start to think about it. And funny enough, Bedard himself called it straight away when he goes on to say, quote, It appears, however, that this is really not the case. If snowflakes are watched as they fall from the sky, which is naturally overcast and dull, they appear almost black. Quote end. Let me illustrate what this weird snowflake analogy means for penguins. Here is a photo of a penguin seen from below. Here is another photo of a penguin seen from below. And here is a photo of several penguins seen from below. See where I'm going with this? Unless you shine a bright light at penguins from the deep, their white bellies will do nothing to prevent them from appearing as a dark shadow. So what about the black backs? Well, the advantage, according to many books and articles, is that the birds are harder to see from above. But when you look at underwater footage of penguins, they often do not really blend in with the environment that well. Here are some birds that are true masters of the art of camouflage. Whereas penguins, even under murky conditions, are still quite visible. To be quite honest, penguins do a far from stellar job when it comes to blending into the marine environment. If they were serious about it, shouldn't they be all blue rather than black and white? So I think we should have serious doubts that penguins are black and white primarily for camouflage purposes. Sure, it helps under some circumstances, but that seems more like a byproduct. Which brings us back to our initial question. Why are penguins black and white? In 2009, Hannah Rowland from the University of Liverpool compiled a comprehensive review of the function of countershading, and she points out a whole string of factors that may all play a role for the black and white coloration in penguins. Number 1. Thermoregulation. Dark colors absorb far more light energy than light colors. This means that the black backside of penguins is more efficient in absorbing heat from the sun than their white front. According to Rowland, penguins have been observed to use that to their advantage by turning their backs to the sun when cold, 
and their white undersides to the light when hot. This also works when the penguins are resting at the surface in often cold water. In Galapagos penguins, D. Bersma observed that penguins floating at the surface had dry backs, allowing them to absorb solar radiation. At the same time, she mentions that, while it is tempting to suggest that the penguins can offset loss of heat to the cold water absorbing solar radiation, her data did not allow testing of this hypothesis. But the same can be said about the camouflage idea. It has never come under scientific scrutiny. Number 2. Protection from abrasion Dark feathers have been shown to be stronger and resist more abrasion and wear. Especially if birds are exposed to airborne particles, having black feathers may make the plumage more resistant to abrasion. While Roland suggests that this may not apply to penguins, it seems she overlooked the fact that the penguins spend long periods on land, often pretty dang exposed to the elements and the associated abrasive forces. Number 3. Energetic reasons. Colored feathers are also more energetically costly to produce when compared to white feathers, which could be another reason behind the color of penguins. With regards to the other explanation for the penguins' black backs, thermia regulation and protection from abrasion, it makes sense that the penguins' undersides are white. At sea, only the part of the plumage that faces the sun is black, and on land, the penguins generally lie down on their tummies or huddle together, backs exposed. So the parts that play no role in absorbing radiation or withstanding the elements don't need to be black. So why waste energy to generate pigments for the belly feathers? Number 4. Social signaling. It has also been suggested that the black and white coloration of birds may actually be beneficial for recognition of conspecifics. This can be quite helpful when it comes to locating and capturing prey. For example, if a penguin notices a swirl of black and white bodies zooming around a cloud of something, this could be a good indication that this something is quite edible. So, why are penguins black and white? Well, quite honestly, we don't have a definite answer. Or an answer that has ever been scientifically tested. However, if anything, it seems that the common assumption that it's all about camouflage doesn't have enough legs to stand on. It takes a lot more not to be seen.